More air sliding. I'm Demon Trigger. And this time he brought a friend. Hey. I don't know when he's gonna get here, but he brought a friend. He told me. I don't know. He's still in transit. Yeah, so we got a lot of traffic can be sometimes. Yeah. So this level is a revolution in game design because you get to move to the left instead of the right. Shocking, I know. My entire world has just been thrown upside down. Or just backwards. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, did they hack uh, this weapon then into flipping the screen left to right? Uh, I perpendicular wish. to gravity hold? <laughs> that would be awesome if you could walk on the wall, but no. Unfortunately, now they didn't do that. Also, I was showing off shooting on the ladder, even though that doesn't help in any way. Well, that's the best time to show it off. Now to show off a confusing maze, well, not really. All those ones go through, but you have to go through the middle one here. All the other two will just take you around in a circle. Oh, classic Metroid level design. Basically. With secret tunnels in all of the walls, and some of them actually go places. Basically. Now, you might be used to moving left, but don't forget to move right, because over here's the letter. You can easily grab it and, and down make there it back, is nothing. <laughs> yeah, you can easily make it back, but there's no reason to, because right here is the checkpoint, so. If you really, really wanted to not die, I suppose, but. Yeah. Eh. So here's Gyro Attack. As I said before, it goes in a weird angle that makes it more useless than it was before, but it's still powerful, so it's at least good for that. Because, you know, when you have a boss whose gimmick is flying around and the level is in the sky, the first thing you think with the weapon is it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this chicken is obnoxious, because I don't know how you're supposed to beat it with the regular buster, because it's just too high. And you have to get rid of it because the, uh, the breakable blocks are right over there on the right. And so they I'm not sure. took away your coil, so yeah. Yeah. That's I'm really not sure how that was supposed to work normally. Also, it'd be stupid with this enemy for a while. I'm gonna show off more gyro attack, because why not? It. Something else I didn't mention is that it makes you go up a little bit when you use it. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be helpful in any way, because that you don't really... It's a nice pro air slide right there. Yeah. And some nice ignoring platforming there. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like it helps in any way, unless... I don't know, you need it for a little bit extra height or something. I don't know. Like, this is dumb, you gotta go over here just to hit the blocks just to go back. Padding. Oh no, a deadly chase! Oh wait. Gravity hold. Fuck everything. Basically. Gotta fill up and... and then I get confused because I forgot I had rush yet. But now it's time for Stone Man. Basically the difference is that he kicks up all these little rocks which block your shots and are just really annoying. Also, Power Stone is swirls around Even more bafflingly shaped than it normally is. Yeah. So basically, he has the regular jumping, the Power Stone, or he'll jump backwards and throw rocks at you. But he's still not that hard. Well, they've kind of made him into an actual boss fight here. There's multiple things he does. Yeah. But he's still just as easy as before. So let's see if we can fly with Gyro Attack. No. Kind of. I think it might help if you hold jump, but I'm not really sure. Perhaps we'll never know. And so for that, we get Power Stone, which is a soccer ball, basically. Because who doesn't love soccer, I guess? Who doesn't love playing soccer with a rock? Rock soccer. There you go. All right, Sport then. of the future. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see you next time.